Hey, Julian, can you zip up your bag, buddy? Go ahead. I can't imagine life without Julian. There were times that I didn't know I was going to see the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel, but I knew I couldn't give up. You open, bud? I live in Delaware Water Gap, Pennsylvania. I love it here. It's beautiful. It's home. Our yard is a national forest. The Appalachian Trail runs along the ridge. I used to take long walks out here by myself, wondering if I'd have to choose between music and family. But even though I stopped releasing music, I never stopped making it. My name is Lou Rogai. I write and record under the name Lewis and Clark. It's funny, but it also let's, works. let's run through it a couple times and maybe you'll feel something different than that's, that's the idea. Yeah, but. Run through it. Lewis and Clark is based on intuition. It's an extension of what I feel. I combine poems and lyrics with very organic sounds and blend it with more abstract and modern elements. I'll show you what we had for the chorus. So you're pretty much just gonna like drop out. Yeah. <laughs> My notebook. My audio notebook. I think of it like remembering a dream from years past, but not being able to pinpoint it, then finding it just as it changes shape. When it goes to the chorus changes, we're gonna like have them float, be real drippy, atmospheric choruses, rather than. Yeah. 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 It means I like to track as much live as possible and have my vocals tracked live with the guitar or piano. That way people and instruments actually resonate together. Although it can be constructed with the tools we have available, it's better to have the initial vibe captured live so it's forever encrypted into the essence of the song. Clicking. Could you do the instrumental, like a, a larger string section part? I have an idea that's... Yeah, yeah. And instead of like you accenting what they're doing, you're, I guess it's called a backbeat, but I think it could get like, like just like literally dropping the beat. Like I, I like it, I like it like that, but with, with the accents there. For me, chemistry within a group is everything. It's where the seed of a song grows. I strive to play with people who blend logic and feeling and who contribute confidence, but also light and grace and atmosphere. One word, whoa. <laughs> that joke was so good my mic fell off. I think that was One a sign word. from the that guys was, to say, shut no up. more cheesy jokes, asshole. This is like Fred Willard of the day. You know what you guys really should do? Wagon. <laughs> but it's not where you should put the laugh, man. That's the worst place. Well, there's too much beard. <laughs> Put it, put it in the beard, right there, here. Put it up there, help this guy out. I think for me, making great music is about the team you put around you, and I have one that I'm really proud of. I will call the seeds that fall away, away. Back to where the roots are grown in place. In the spring of 2008, things were going really well for Lewis and Clark. Top-notch reviews and some excellent touring. There was a lot of momentum. But I didn't realize there were some warning signs at home. 
In April, I came back from a short tour to find that my house had been entirely emptied of its contents and my family was gone. I guess you can say I went into shock. Regardless of the details, the circumstances were extreme and I dropped everything to get Julian back. That meant my life savings and way too much time and energy in court. Make sure you have good feet, bud. It wasn't a matter of choice, it was a matter of necessity and there was no doubt in my mind that I was most capable of raising him which I have, without a single regret. We know about the yellow jackets that live next to us and how we feel about them. Any traumatic event is going to change someone. It's the way you deal with it and get through it that defines you. Julian depended on me, and I knew I had to set the right example. It made music making much more difficult, though. I stopped releasing music. I basically disappeared from the public eye, which in this industry is a death sentence. I had to do it. Is it do we just start you from the top and let you go, or do you? are there specific spots? I want to do the two choruses first. Okay. I want to try a low harmony and then go back and see if a higher one works better. Or... Okay, awesome, yep. During that time, I still wrote out of habit, if nothing else, but also to try and write my own script through music using metaphors of my environment to help me understand my place. I will call the seeds that fall away, away, back to where the roots are grown in place. I had yet to realize a resolution to what was happening personally. I was leaving unfinished lines, unfinished sections of songs, almost finished mixes of an almost finished album. Yeah, that's good. It sounds like you know what you're 1983 doing. 1983 Bowie coming to me. No, I love it. I, that's maybe what we're loving. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, do one more like that, and we'll we're, we're probably great. Good. I don't think I had a choice whether to write or not. It's what I've done for so long what I feel most natural at. The writing became a mirror to my experience rather than an escape or a relief from it. I was feeling like more of a conductor or a conduit for the music rather than a commander of it. With a single flame we blaze a blaze When I finally came to terms in my personal affairs I was ready to seal the deal. It was like the hammer came down and I knew exactly how to finish this work. It was closure. And your heart knows the silence and the secrets it saves And the treacherous tension you think you deserve as your fate I realized I had to release the music I had made. I felt that I owed it to all the people who supported me. All the friends or people who wrote to me and helped me realize that my music was affecting them and had become part of their lives. But most of all, I owed it to myself to prove that I could survive this period of turbulence and continue to fulfill what I'm here to do. It's really fun to see the world through Julian's eyes. <laughs> to experience things for the first time again, full of wonder and innocence. He's curious and intuitive. A bookworm, but loves the outdoors. I guess I'm like that too. Some people carry tokens from their past like trophies. 
Others carry baggage. I want to travel light and nimbly with care and good intent. There's a saying on the Appalachian Trail, pack in, pack out. I'll be happy with leaving as many good memories and as much good music for people to dig into and enjoy. Shaking Through is produced by Weatherday Music, a nonprofit dedicated to supporting independent music and the community that surrounds it. Your support helps sustain this series, which creates bold new art and resources to inspire the independent music community. To get involved, go to weathervanemusic.org.